Zambia released the 2022 national budget. And from what we can gather, there's been a significant improvement in revenues over the past year, which we think will continue into the period 2022 and 2023. Three factors supporting this. Firstly, we've seen improvement in terms of export earnings coming in from the mining sector. So this will continue to generate tax revenue to government. Overall, tax collection from general businesses and consumers is also lifted, which is a positive sign for this economy. And notwithstanding, given what we saw during the course of 2021, there'll likely be significant dividend payments from the central bank over the next few years to support tax revenue growth. I guess our concern really comes from the expenditure line item. We have seen a 24.5% increase in expenditure. Effectively, what this has done is that your budget deficit, which is really expected to consolidate over the next few years, has actually ballooned to over 15.5%. This means that government will once more have to rely between both domestic and foreign funding to support its budget, in addition to the SDR allocation that they received earlier this year. On the foreign side, they put in a line item which would come to the tune of about 2.3 billion US dollars, which we think they will have to get into some form of IMF program in part to support this. The key question, however, is whether or not this budget will be enough for them to be able to secure an IMF program. And we still think that there will be deliberations over the next few months, potentially leading to some concessions from the government side to ensure that they can get into an IMF program, given the fact that expenditure has actually ballooned the fiscal deficit as opposed to actually narrowing it over the horizon. So we expect some few deliberations and comments around this side before Zambia can then get into an IMF program, which will likely be finalized by the second half of next year in terms of its first disbursements from a fund perspective.